Hey guys, welcome back to the Fast Money Plan. We got our guest Andrew Tate. Today we're gonna be t- <laughs> we're gonna be talking about uh prepare for uh financial hardships. This is an important one. Uh me and Kirby, we always discuss this. We always talk about, you know, bad things are going to come and uh why we're specifically why you should prepare for bad things to come. So Kirby, you can start it off though. First off, public service now, and I don't have a hangover or nothing. <laughs> uh, it's just the angle right now that's coming in is shooting me right in the eyes. So as y'all can see, no hangover, just looking I'm normal. Uh, but yeah, the sun is killing my eyes right now, so that's why I got sunglasses. So I'm not trying to be cool. Uh, I'm too old to be cool. But um, but yeah, going back to what you're saying, Alex, we always say, don't forget history. I mean, you always see it. People, let's use COVID, for instance. You know, people been was living on, you know, minimum wage paychecks before minimum wage went higher, before COVID started. You know, it was a struggle. And then they got the PPP loans. They got the enhanced unemployment. They got, you know, stimulus checks. And then they forgot what their life was like on minimum wage, like it wasn't going back there. And then, so they got some money and then they started buying this, buying that, buying this. Some people even even went and, you know, got higher car payments than they was living on before. Forgetting the fact that, hey, when this, when this, uh, you know, this fire holes of money stop, I got to go back to the income that I have. I mean, we can even use the student loan borrowers there. You know, student loans been on forbearance or a pause for three years. Instead of setting aside that money, setting aside that money for student loan repayment once it starts back again, because at no time ever did President Biden say that everybody's student loans will be wiped clear and clean. It was just a pause. But people weren't thinking, hey, let's put that money to the side. They just added that money to the expense. And I know inflation went up and, you know, people had to dig into that money, but some people went back crazy. I mean, going to say the cuss word, but they went back crazy and uh, and they just start adding bills to it. I mean, car payments, I never heard of a car payment a thousand bucks as an average car payment. You know, most car payments, you know, four or five hundred bucks. People magically manipulated themselves to say, oh, I need a car. Oh, I need this. And then so now, but once that infuse of money stop, you got to go back to the income that you had and still got to pay for this lifestyle that you created. I mean, Alex, I know you and me, we have the same thinking of it's okay to buy stuff long as it don't increase your monthly expenses. Now, I wouldn't care if somebody said, oh, yeah, I went and bought a car, paid it off car. You got rid of one car, you replaced it with another car that's paid off. That's no monthly expense. But going from $400 to $800 car payment, going from, uh, what's what's the other big one? Upgrading cell phone plans. That's that's another huge one. People putting rims and tires on, uh, on payment plans, all that stuff. Furniture. That's monthly expenses. But Alex, I know I'm going deep, but go ahead. What you got? No, it's it's something that's important. Um, I I mean, my wife and I, we do this. We always, uh, well, I don't think she pays much attention to the finances as much as I do. But but right. um, I'm I'm always thinking, you know, like let's say even with um me buying real estate right now, um, it's I never take for granted the fact that we still have jobs. Uh, now we're making more income outside of our jobs. Because I understand that we could buy a property, use all the money that we've saved and invested towards this property, everything back to zero, and then our jobs could let us go for whatever reason. I mean, it just could right. happen. So it's, you know, we, I'm always trying to keep that in mind like, okay, if I do use all of my money, I need to really focus, like, be way cheaper than I already am. <laughs> and, and start to recoup that money because it's it's absolutely necessary in order to 
just be ahead basically you never want to be caught in a situation where you couldn't see it coming where you got caught off guard you want to be prepared for those things to happen because as you said as we say they are going to happen um there's always going to be something bad that will happen and you may not know what it is you may not be able to prepare for that specific situation but prepare in general to be ready for whatever life throws at you and then so putting it into context or putting it into a timeline like now we got the unemployment at around 3.5 even today the uh, unemployment numbers came out the the uh the jobs added for the month of July, because we're in August, was less than expected. Besides that little blip in COVID, that little recession, mini recession during COVID, we haven't had a recession since the financial crisis of 2007. For anybody that don't know, the United States over its history has averaged a recession every 18 years. 18 years. So besides that COVID-induced uh, recession, we haven't had a recession in almost 15, yeah, 15 years. I'm doing the math right here with dates. In almost 15 years. So we're way overdue. So when preparing for a recession, now is the time when the jobs are going good. This is the time to shore up your finances. This is the time to, you know, pay off the consumer debt that you need to pay off. You want to get your monthly expenses to live as low as possible. I don't care how much money you make. Then all the extra on top is the extra on top. But don't add extra monthly payments. I mean, they didn't trick, and this is the funny one, Alex. They didn't trick people from cutting the cable cord to get every subscription service there is known to man. Now the subscription service bill is more than the cable bill that they have. The crazy expenses to prepare. But this is what's going to happen. People are not going to cut the crazy expenses. Like we always say, you can choose to cut your expenses when you can, or the world's going to make you cut your expenses. People ain't going to cut their expenses till you know, them or their partner lose a job. Oh, well, we can't afford it now, so we got to cut it. Cut it now. Instead of eight, nine subscription services, go to one. Find the one that's the best. I don't care if it's Netflix. I don't care if it's Disney. Whichever one you choose, go down to one. If you at work, you ain't gonna be able to use it that much anyway. Cut that stuff down so when that time comes, if that time comes, well, no, I'm gonna go win because it ain't no if about it. When that time comes and somebody loses their job, it's like, okay, whatever. We already used to living. That's why I always tell people if a recession hit today and everything just went bust, we'll be fine. Because my monthly expenses, and yours too, but my monthly expenses is enough. I can get a job anywhere that pays minimum wage and it will cover the monthly expenses that I have. But now let's wrap it up with your final thoughts. Yeah, I'm just, I already know there's probably people that are going to watch this and think like, oh, Kirby says we can never enjoy our money. But like, the point is like, if you have low monthly expenses and all this extra income it's to create more money but then you can also enjoy life i mean kurt where kirby's at that's that's where i'm trying to get all right buy food out every day not have to cook <laughs> but anyways guys with all that being said wait wait wait, wait. <laughs> if alex if alex could do that he still wouldn't do it <laughs> just what just oh man with all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one.